I'm sure some people doubt the ability of inexpensive AM transmitter receivers to be able to robustly deliver messages, um, particularly across all the way across the house or through walls or across a yard. What you see is the test harness for watching messages and determining how many are bad, how many are missing, how many times bits needed to be corrected by the Hamming code. And as you can see, it's very successful. There's been 170 messages delivered. Only two of them were bad, and six had their bits corrected, or there were six bits corrected. And this is about what I've been seeing so far out of these AM transmitters when the right protocol has been applied to them. Now let me show you the, the receiver. Uh, this receiver is currently being held up by a Lego figure. And next to it, you'll see this is the lo-fi board. And this is just the Atmel programming board in the background. Okay, so back to this. You see 203 messages, only two of them were bad, and uh, six bits were corrected. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and so what you're asking yourself is, well, where's the transmitter? If the receiver is here, where's the transmitter? And is this really a challenge? So let's go find the transmitter. Sorry, I wish I had some incidental music or something to play at this point. Transmitter is in the basement. Oh, excuse the kitty litter. So the transmitter is way down here in the dark corner of the basement, blinking away. And it's at the farthest corner of the house. So I'll pick it up. And it's only running off of two AA batteries. Oh, sorry, two AAA batteries. So about three volts. That's pretty good performance for a $5 setup.